Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Calgary Barbell. Today we're gonna wrap up the last of my training block. Probably the most successful raw training block I've had since 2016. So I was pretty damn happy with that. Um, squat was, I'd say 97, 98% pain free. I maybe had a couple of reps throughout the whole training cycle where I actually got some hip pain. Um, and volume progressed steadily. Working with, you know, I think my last day of the block, I squatted 285 for a single and did four or five sets of three at 245. So my best previous raw work um, just recently was 250 or 255 for a set of five. So definitely, you know, climbing up, getting back into that over 300 raw projection in terms of my squat. So really, really happy about that bench um, as some of you who have, have followed along know um, I you know had some shoulder injury some shoulder pain some things to deal with there for the first five weeks of the six week block four weeks of the six week block so I started off benching 40 kilos created a nice slow progression and then kind of got to the point where it felt really really good again essentially gave myself the green light and put in a good last two weeks working up to a final bench of 175 kilos at about a seven seven and a half so uh, i may try to top that today i've got some competition work to do um, right after we record this today so um yeah we'll see how that goes i'm not going to say anything yet but uh, we might just load it up a little bit deadlift started off quite painful actually if, if anybody remembers the first day of the block was really bad on the hip uh, I really struggled with it started with a single at 345 uh, was forced to kind of dial that back and create a bit of a different smarter less intense projection or sorry progression um, to deal with sort of you know making sure that my hip was used to the loads when it came to my raw deadlift so Ended off with a pull at 350 kilos that moved quite well last week and uh, getting volume up into, I think I did six sets of three at 295, 297 and a half actually, because I remember laughing that it wasn't quite 300, 300 kilos. Um, <clears throat> I mean, that was probably the, the most notable parts of the block. Um, chain squats, I got two different sets where I finished uh, 215 for eight. Last week I had hoped to go 225, but it just wasn't there uh, as the block kind of progressed. And I also didn't want to push that day because I had plans to get redemption on the 410 block pull. So the previous week I had missed that in training, uh, it slipped right out of my grip. And this week I actually just opted not to even test the grip with that. Now. Looking back, yes, there's a part of me that's like, uh, you know, I wonder if I could have held on to it. But I think one of the big things that I, I sort of realized is that I've missed a lot of third deadlifts in the last little while. And uh, I think mentally, I really wanted to finish on a good note with that really heavy weight to get that just mental win, to get that in my head that those kinds of weights are realistic, that I can, you know, lift that, that I can be there. and. Um, so I think that was a that was a necessary sort of game day decision to add straps to that last pull. Ended up pulling 410 off blocks. Um, first time I've ever had 900 pounds in my hands, and uh, I guess second time <laughs> I did miss it the week before. But um, so it, it felt felt great. Um, it moved pretty darn good, and I was really happy with how that went. So very successful block. Very little pain. Really happy with the progression of my raw training right now. Uh, excited to get into whatever's next. I'm not exactly sure how the, the progression's going to go to get back into equipment before Worlds in November, but we'll keep everybody posted. Album recommendation of the day of the week, however you want to look at it. It's going to be an album called Hammer the Witch by Ringworm. It's a very aggressive, very fast, uh, borderline grindcore kind of stuff but really, really good uh, deadlift music. Again, I think deadlift is the one lift where I really tolerate and enjoy something that's almost just too chaotic to pay much attention to. I think squat and bench press, I need something a little more groovy, uh, a little bit more melody sort of interlaced, uh, but this is just absolute chaos, absolute aggression. So uh, really good for that purpose. They just put out a new album in the last couple months that's worth checking out, uh, but Hammer of the Witch is definitely my recommendation. Uh, in terms of a rating, uh, for what it is, I'd probably give it like a 
4.5 out of 5 screaming Bryce heads. And again, this rating system is a little bit skewed because I'm not going to recommend something I don't like. So expect everything to be uh, like a four and up. And with that, we're going to remind everybody to head over to twitch.tv slash Calgary Barbell and tune in for our weekly live streams. We're doing two a week now, mostly form checks, a little bit of Q&A. Uh, last week, we went through a bunch of my old meat footage and uh, it's turning into a pretty cool little community. So go ahead, head over there, check it out, and uh, we'll have countdowns and schedules for all of our stuff. The last thing we're gonna do here today is we're gonna leave you guys with a deleted scene from the documentary we recently released. I also think it's worth um, mentioning or worth you know, making a point of giving a very heartfelt thank you to everybody for watching our film from both Dylan and I, um, for watching what we put together and uh, the, the incredible, incredible amount of feedback and positivity that's come from that. So thank you. Thank you all very, very much. Um, and if you haven't checked it out, make sure to go ahead and check it out. It's just called The Power Lifter. It's on our channel. And uh, here's some footage from that. Take care. Knowing that, knowing that I'm better than what I've done a lot of the times, knowing that there's more in me, that I'm stronger, that I'm more capable and, and having things outside of my control hold me back. And that's, that's part of what was so freeing about powerlifting initially was that it was in my control. But with something like this injury cropping up, like I just couldn't seem to get past it. I couldn't seem to figure out what made it tick, how to get it to stop hurting. And that held me back for three years. For three years, like I knew going out onto that platform, I'm gonna do less than I could otherwise or should otherwise. That sucked. I keep doing it because I know that I can get to where I can put everything that I am and everything that I can do together. Because I know that, I know that there's that capability there. And I know that if I can do it just right, I can express that and exhibit that and show everybody that. I think at this point, like, I'm all in. Like, if it doesn't get better, it will get better at some point. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those things where I just, I, I won't accept being done. I'm not, I'm not gonna let it win. You know what I mean? Like, whatever it takes, I'll do it at this point, to get to the other side of that and to, to put together what I know is there, to do what I know I'm capable of doing.